Hey YouTube, it's LDS Reliance. Uh, today I'm going to um, do a video on uh, some some of the worst offenders in the average home of energy consumption uh, when you're not using things. And what I've got here is a, uh, a kilowatt meter. Basically this is a, a device that plugs in um, to the wall outlet and then you plug something into it and it'll read you know how many uh, volts, amps, watts and so forth that you're that you're using and it'll also keep track of the kilowatt hours that it's consumed if you leave this plugged in to something like you know your refrigerator or something that you want to measure over time uh, it'll tell you how many kilowatt hours have been used <clears throat> anyways I'm going to use this device along with a power strip just so that I can plug this in here and be able to reach um, so, so I can tape this easier but basically I'm going to be plugging devices into this and showing you even when they're in standby mode or they're not using any power actively uh, what what uh, devices around the house are uh, costing you the most money okay the first thing we're going to check out today is a subwoofer um, just this is one that I built myself but it would be very comparable to any other sub on the market um, as you can see back here it's in standby mode, the red light. <clears throat> so no, it's it's waiting for a signal from the receiver, um, which is turned off, and it's in standby mode. However, as we can see with the kilowatt meter, it's still consuming 12.7 watts con continuously. Okay, now I'm gonna test uh, kind of an average computer setup. Uh, this is my son's computer. Um, Despite the way it looks, it's really not a gaming computer, it's just kind of an everyday computer, but he does use it for games and YouTube and so forth. Um, so the computer's turned off, it is not in sleep mode or anything else. Um, it does have an external hard drive connected, a monitor, and a speaker system, <clears throat> which is kind of typical for most, you know, kind of an average setup. and. As you can see, we're drawing seven and a half watts. Okay, now I'm gonna show, this is uh, a, sec a security panel for a home security system. Um, I know it looks like a mess. I actually don't use this. It's, it's usually disabled, but I hooked it back up just to show what this thing would consume on a con consistent basis. Um, here's where the, the wires would come in, it hooks into a transformer that normally plugs in here. And I've got this transformer hooked up right now to the kilowatt. <clears throat> we don't even have anything connected to the terminals here. And it's drawing 4.8 watts. Okay, here we have a, a set-top box. This one uh, in particular is from Dish Network. Um, this is the little, um, this isn't the main main receiver, but it is, is one of them. This is the little Joey. Um, but anyway, uh, these things are actually set to, to turn themselves off, but it takes several hours. So while, while you're waiting for that to turn off, and, and some other models uh, don't turn themselves off, and they don't go into st uh, to shut themselves down, they just sit there and stand by all the time. So while you're uh, waiting for this thing to shut off, um, you're consuming 7 watts of power. Okay, again, I'm still at my garage. This is going to be another uh, thing that's kind of hard to tape. This is my Verizon Fios box, but this is, you know, going to be pretty typical of a standard uh, cable box, not cable, uh, internet, uh, broadband internet box. And the, the wire goes up and over here to this plug, and we are using 17 watts at all times. Okay, here we have just your average everyday home router wireless router. Uh, this one's issued by Verizon for Verizon Fios, but pretty typical of, uh, of what most homes would have. <clears throat> and as we can see, this is consuming 10 watts. Okay, so in conclusion, let's recap here. I tested my subwoofer in standby mode, 12 and a half watts. My son's computer, seven and a half watts. Security system panel, five watts. Uh, the set-top box for our cable TV, 7 watts. The broadband box, uh, to just to bring the broadband into the house, not even to, to transmit it wirelessly or anything else, 17 watts. And then our home router, 10 watts, for a total of 59 watts. 
So that 59 watts runs around the clock, so 24 hours. That means I'm, I'm using up 1.4 kilowatt hours per day. Okay, so 1.4 kilowatts per day times 365 days in a year equals 516.84 kilowatt hours consumed in a year. So that 516 kilowatt hours times uh, the cost of electricity, which for me is around 12 cents per kilowatt hour, equals $62 per year. So in other words, those five devices, six devices, I'm sorry, that are pretty much useless around the clock for me when they're not in use are costing me $62 per year. Pretty shocking. Hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you guys.